So here's an interesting application of the law of signs to solve a word problem. You've got two observers that are 600 feet apart on opposite sides of a flagpole. So let's draw that first. So there's observer 1. There's observer 2. And they're on opposite sides of a flagpole. So here's my flagpole. The angles of elevation from the observers to the top of the pole are 19 degrees and 21 degrees. So recall the angle of elevation would be this angle here and also this angle here. And we're told that those are 19 degrees and 21 degrees. And they're also, the, these guys are 600 feet apart, so this is 600 feet. And what are we asked to find? The height of the flagpole. So before we jump into this, I just want you to be aware of how easy this problem would be if we knew, for instance, that side of the triangle. It would be really easy because we could just say, oh, well, the sign, by definition, the sine of 19 degrees is equal to h over c. And of course, if we just knew c, then we all know how to solve that. Um, and likewise, it would be easy if we knew, uh, we'll call this side a here, because we could say that the sine of 21 degrees is equal to h over a. So that would make this problem really easy. So we don't have that information, but um, we can get it. Um, now before I go any further, I want to just, I know what you're tempted to do right now. You're tempted to say that this piece here is 300 and this piece here is 300. You're tempted to say that maybe because of the way I drew the picture, but also because you just, you kind of have this, I think you have this instinct that, that that should divide it in half, but that actually would not be the case in this, this situation. The only, and it's because that 19 degrees and 21 degrees are different, uh, different measurements. The only time that would be true is if, here I'll go off to the side, draw another sort of triangle. That would only be true in an isosceles triangle where those sides are the same and, you know, these angles are the same. So if that was like 19 degrees and that was 19 degrees, well then yeah, the altitude would cut this side equally into two pieces, two equal pieces, right? But that's not the situation. This is not, this big triangle is not isosceles. So don't be tempted by what, what you see. But what we can, like I said, if going back to these two expressions, if we can get one of those, if we can get either C or A, well then we can just apply this simple definition. So let's note some of the things we know in this picture. That's a 90 degree angle. And in each of these right triangles, this third angle we can find. If I just do 90 plus 19 degrees and then subtract that from 180, I get this angle here, which is 71 degrees. And I get this angle here, if I do the same thing on the right, that's 69 right there. Which means this whole big angle is... If you add those up, you get 140 degrees. All right, so how is that useful? Well, it's useful because if you look at the big triangle, again, remember our, our little goal now is just to find, let's just focus on C. Um, in our big triangle, the law of sines will apply because sine of 140 degrees in the big triangle divided by its opposite side, 600, is equal to sine of 21 degrees divided by C. So again, look at look closely and you'll notice that that's, we're just applying the law of sines in the big triangle and that'll help us find C. So let's, let's cross multiply and solve.
put this in our calculator and we get C to equal Three hundred and thirty four point five one three feet. All right, so but remember that wasn't the goal. That was part of the goal. So now that we know C, we can make sense of this. So maybe I'll just label it up here just so we have it in the picture. Three thirty four point five one three. Now again, we could have we could have solved for a using the law of sines, and then we'd be focusing on this. But at this point, we know that the sine of 19 degrees is equal to h over c, which we know is 334.513, and that means that h is equal to sine of five, uh, 19 degrees times 334.513. We punch this in the calculator, and we get 108.907 feet. So there's one sample of the, the way in which the law of sines can be useful in in solving word problems that are a little bit more complex than your your regular 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 old right triangle ones